Hello, Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. I missed you guys. Happy to be back here with you. Pisces, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. <clears throat> Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Pisces. You know, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces, highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see no this one i feel very strongly ask extra message for you today <clears throat> oh I see somebody loves you. Somebody loves you deeply. Uh, yeah. Um, this is you very connected uh, with this person. You feel major connection with this person already. So it looks like it's somebody new. <clears throat> somebody interested in you. Somebody uh, stirring up these emotions in you. You guys know each other from many lifetimes. You see here's two of cups. Emotional two swans are showing up here so this is very symbolic and powerful because each deck if it's not traditional tarot deck shows different paintings different artwork different messages come through in this particular tarot deck the two of cups has two swans swans stand for um um what do you call it monogamy yeah monogamous relationship where there's no cheating lying playing mind games you see this so this connection has a potential of being a monogamous relationship that's solid that's healthy you see yeah mm -hmm. this is beautiful whoever this person is that you already know uh feels very connected with you. You guys were together in romantic relationships in some other lifetimes, but doesn't mean you have to necessarily be with them in, in this lifetime if you wish not to. You have free will to decide that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You view yourself as single right now. You let a soulmate go that disappointed you greatly. The soulmate that you let go of, that is not this soulmate disappointed you greatly you feel that you were on different paths in life they didn't meet you halfway didn't offer you commitment didn't express how they felt yeah didn't express love to you so you view yourself as single available at this time you're showing up as very independent person yeah you would rather be alone than be in a toxic relationship mm -hmm. wow this new person here shows up with passion attraction towards you deep passion attraction emotional connection um they are looking for something serious because they are surrounded by four ones which stands for commitment marriage yeah passion as well wedding so this new person that is so interested in you emotionally speaking is uh, looking for something serious they're not looking for anything uh that is a one night stand no universe please show us what's coming up for pisces and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey i feel i need to shuffle more what's coming up for pisces and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey wow i like the new person look at this they showing up as grown up mature reliable consistent king of wands this person is very attracted to you uh, emotionally, energetically, physically. There's a huge connection that they feel with you. Yeah, this is them uh, watching you, observing you, but this is you also realizing that there is something more than just uh, a friendship. Oh my goodness. So 
This is the worst card in the whole deck, by the way. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. The person that you let go of caused you a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, they did. Whether they are aware of it or not, they caused you a lot of emotional setbacks and you decided it was best for you to let them go. Yeah, they didn't commit to you. They didn't offer you a healthy relationship. Yeah, you felt so unloved, unappreciated, taken for granted in that connection. You freed yourself of a toxic relationship and you view yourself as single right now. Wow. Wow. So communication between this new person and you, communication, lots of communication will be happening. Um, ability to travel together. Yeah, I love this. Wow, they want to show you their cup of love. They want to show you romantic interest. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This person that you let go of truly caused you a lot of emotional setbacks where you are scared to trust again. Yeah, it's like they left this uh, bitter taste in your mouth and uh, you lost your faith in love, in relationships. But that's only temporary. Yeah, that's only temporary. You will get over this roadblock. Yeah. The important thing is that you freed yourself of a toxic relationship. You saw very clearly that it became toxic and you needed to let them go. So you made very important step. The right step was to free yourself of a relationship that drained you, caused you heartbreak. Yeah. See, this is you trying to be brave enough, courageous enough to step out there again and make yourself available. Yeah, this is you healing though, that you're scared. You're scared to trust with your heart right now. You're still healing. Yeah, you endured a lot of heartbreak in your life altogether. Yeah, this is you trying to be brave. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing? Oh, so for the second time, the new person showing up here, new soulmate, very passionate towards you. They're looking for something serious. They're not looking for any uh, affairs or flings. Yeah, you see, again, so uh, somebody's what this person's watching you, analyzing you, studying you, observing you. They're very attracted to you. Just be careful not to rush too quickly into physical, intimate connection. Uh, get to know them better. Let them get to know you better. Uh, yeah, when people rush too quickly into physical, intimate connection, that's when they start making mistakes, okay? So it's very important you take your time getting to know the person, um, having solid grounds based on trust, right? Um, and respect before you jump into anything too quickly. Yeah, like so many people do it and they make that same mistake over and over again. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate. So first we're going to ask about the soulmate that you let go of. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces that Pisces released. Um, what's going on with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces let go of for now? Oh, yeah, you see, this person is not able to stop thinking of you. Oh, they've been quiet, silent, heartbroken over losing you. So they're not happy. No, they're not happy. This is them. This shows me that this person is dealing with a lot of emotional baggage from past uh, relationships that they need to figure out. They need to. Uh, release with forgiveness. They need to learn how to let go of the past. They have a lot going on in their life that they need to settle, figure out. They're missing you a lot. They feel alone, sad, misunderstood. They're missing you a lot. They feel so sad, empty. Yeah, there's a lot you're not aware of. Yeah, that this person didn't tell you. Maybe they tried to protect you emotionally. Whatever the reason was, they've been holding back important information. <clears throat> oh, this person really wishes, they wish to reconcile with you, but they're scared mm, that this is not going to happen. Let's see. You know, please show us. They want to break this silence between you two. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the summit of Pisces that Pisces let go of. Look, you see, they feel sad, heartbroken, 
uh, defeated. This is them figuring out their life. They worry too much. They have a lot of worries. They worry too much, overanalyze. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, uh, but they could be any sign. Also, Leo popping up here and Gemini. <clears throat> this show in, in um, Aquarius, this shows me that this person is trying to figure out their life and how to come towards you. Wow, the new person is showing up for the third time. So you already know this new person, whether you are aware of their interest in you or not. Yeah. They also have been through their own heartbreak. Yeah. Wow. The person that you let go of wants to make very important changes in their life. Yeah. <clears throat> they deeply regretful for uh, losing you, for hurting you, for disappointing you. They regret it deeply. This is them thinking you don't love them anymore, that you forgot them, release them. They're still holding on to you, to some hope. They're not able to let you go. No, they're not. Wow. I love the new person, however. This is marriage commitment. The new person is someone serious, someone who is a catch. I like this new person a lot, a lot. Yeah, I do, I do. Wow. <clears throat> the person that you let go of is wanting to know who is in your life how to approach you correctly. In the extended reading, we're going to ask about both of them, the one that wants to return to you and the new one that's interested in you, so seriously interested in you. You know, please show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces that Pisces let go of. Wow, you see, they recognize important truths. Look, now they see your worth value, how important you are to them. You hold highly vibrational empress energy. This person needed to lose you to realize how good they had it, how important you are to them. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you see, this is them seeing you as queen of wands, whether you're male or female, someone who takes your power back. You, you took your power back and you walked away for uh, good reasons. Yeah, you see. They want to fix this situation. They want to do right by you. Yeah, they want to correct things. Whatever mistakes were made, they want to correct those mistakes. Justice. They want to serve justice. They want to do right by you. They now recognize your worth, how important you are to them. This person is not used to people of your high caliber. You see, they didn't know how to treat you correctly. They are determined to come back. Because these are one, two, three, four major arcana life force cards. Wow. Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading. First, we're going to ask about the person that wants to come back to you uh, for communication clarity. And at the end, we're going to ask about the new soulmate that popped up three times as king of wands. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life that showed up as king of wands new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well wow so pisces click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys